All right, yeah, I, well, screw it, I'm doing a video. Um, but it is partially going to be uh, part of my list here about the channel house cleaning and playlist organization because I realized, um, you know, I'm kind of like in a weird, I didn't expect this to happen, but it seems like I'm doing a two stream thingamajig or something, uh, or three, um, in that, uh, you know, I also have these little rambly, um, chit-chatty things or whatever um, with you guys. And I love them, I'm, and I don't want to stop doing them. However, if there's people, let's say, that are just primarily interested, let's say, in Der Weltkrieg stuff, they should be able to just be able to get that rather than, oh, yeah, this guy's talking about Lord knows what again, or nothing again for three minutes, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, that's um, one thing I certainly would like to do. And it's uh, I'll be able to do that, hopefully. Hold on. Because I think I mentioned I was um, going to take uh, some time off. So I'm going to see how many days. I was going to show it on the normal calendar, but I was like, well, that kind of doesn't make any sense. Um, this is the real calendar for me, kind of. Uh, this is how I'm working around things. So I've got the 17th. I'm taking the 17th of February off, and I don't return until the 1st of March. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 12 days, man. Uh, that's not too bad. Um, excuse me. So I'll have 12 days off in a row that I don't have to focus on work. And um, so I'll get a practice run, I guess, if you want to look at it that way of, well, what would life be like? If you did get that one third extra t bit of uh, stuff, because I I don't know if uh, it happens with you guys sometimes, but you know I've had this massive amount of anticipation. I can remember actually the first time when I had the two months off over a year ago, um, and this whole thing started up. The very first day when I finally got my time off, I didn't do anything for like an hour or something. I just s stood around going, "Now what?" It was so weird. But uh, anyways, yeah, that is, uh, that'll be very nice because that way hopefully I can um, organize my playlists, do some channel housekeeping. Like when I go on certain people's um, channels and I see the amount of organization they've put in, I'm like, okay, this is so easy to navigate and so on and so forth. And there's the other thing too, I should be re, uh, renaming uh, a lot of the stuff. Yet again, it was all for internal stuff. So like, you know... Um, TG142 uh, or something like that. It's, you know, f for me, but, uh, you know, people would be like, what the hell is going on? Uh, um, actually, Meandering Mike mentioned that to me uh, 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 quite a while ago, so it was like something to think about. Um, yeah, I better uh, move my ass. Oh, here's my notes to take a look at. So I'll try to go slowly. So, yeah, I better uh, go and read in the Quincy pretty bloody quick due to the fact that um, I think we're supposed to get several afternoons of above zero i think it's already like at minus two lucky for me the quincy is on the proper side of the house for the afternoon so maybe it'll get uh some protection but i'd like to do a proper read uh, in there so i'll figure out maybe around lunchtime uh but then i have a hard time i think i mentioned it it's so bloody quiet uh part of me goes oh just lie down for a second and next thing you know boink um I think the only thing that probably wakes me up at that time is usually it's like, God almighty, one side of me is really cold. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Uh, and there's the other thing. I'm I'm enjoying the pacing that I'm starting to find. Um, but I also have to temper my expectations, especially my patience, um, because I see the potential or see things that I want to do. And there's 4,000 of them. And... It's like, whoa, slow down, Chris. You, um, it will happen. You just, or I, like I start getting uh, frustrated because I um, I want to do them all and I can't. And I see thoughts or ideas fly away. And I'm like, ah, oh, man. And But that, okay. And so that's it. Uh, the Well, not it yet, but uh, I hope I don't sound like a horrible little person, but okay. 
So yesterday I made, well, I for sure made a potential, uh, a sale, I guess, but it's not signed, sealed, and delivered. My first non-gamer sale of a t-shirt. Oh my God, I couldn't believe it. So I wore one of my t-shirts, the blue one, uh, yesterday at work. And uh, this is the irony. Um, <laughs> the person that was interested in it is somebody that really pisses Rob off at work, really pisses him off. Um, the guy's never done anything to me, but I can see based on personality um, for sure why um, um, Rob would be, you know, anyways, and I, you know, of course I'm going to side with Rob, good God. So anyways, just by automatically, by proxy or whatever, I hate this guy's guts. <laughs> Anyway, so I was like, okay, it's a big smile on my face. I'm like, okay. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, man, you could screw him over. Because he's like, so how much for the t-shirt? And I was honest. But then afterwards, later, I said, you know what? Chris, man, you could screw him and put, uh, which I would, I told him anyways, any of the money. I said, all I want you to do is um, the cost of the t-shirt and, uh, you know, how to make it. Uh, um, you give that to your charity of your choice. Oh, I won't know you're doing it, but I hope you do. And um, afterwards, I went, when I got home, I said, no, Chris, you can screw him over and put all the money towards another charity. So you're even helping out more people. So I'm going to say, but I hope you don't mind a uh, certain person. Um, but uh, would you mind giving me, and I think he will, it's all because it sounds... So, just think about the number. You'll probably go, oh, I'll just give you an even 10. I'm going to say the cost of the t-shirt comes to $9.70. <laughs> and then he'll probably say, ah, I'll just give you an even 10. And then I'm just going to run off and deposit it into a charity. I'm thinking actually what I want to do is find charities or nonprofits that help, um, uh, the upkeep of World War I or any uh, war memorials. Uh, I think that would be a nice thing to do. So um, anyways, that's it. Um, like I said, hopefully I will uh, figure out how to do some housekeeping and whatnot. So if people are just interested in my imaginative play, you know where to go. Um, just their Velkrieg stuff and, and whatnot. You know, we'll have that separate bit. And then these crazy ass uh, rambles and saying hello to you. Uh, we'll have that as well. Okay, happy Wednesday. See you later.